Looks like she was dressed for her dream date. Yeah, it ended when the perp strangled her repeatedly with her own pantyhose. Yeah, it gets worse. Killer sliced off her breasts. Took him a couple tries. Hope she wasn't awake. No, no spatter. She was already dead. They find her. Severed parts? Not yet. Killer must have walked out with them. Ran our victim's prints, got a hit. Tina Snow, 21, went to Hudson University. Is anything worth stealing where she was found? High-end art gallery in the same building. Maybe she's up in the ante. Was she busted with a partner? Uh, no, both collars, she was solo. Maybe the time she had a partner. Who turned on her? Thanks. Mutilating her breast is personal. Rape kit was negative, but tox screen bump. Tina's blood alcohol was three times the legal limit, and she had GHB in her system. Date rape drug. So why get her drunk, slip her roofie, and not rape her? Maybe he couldn't rise to the occasion. A temper, Edgar. She challenged your authority. She emasculated you in front of the entire group. Pay her back by making her one of the boys. What are you talking about? You strangling her and cutting off her breasts. I didn't kill her. Does that dress look familiar to you? That's the dress she was murdered in. Oh, look. Here it is on your video. She was alive when we left her. Where was that? At a bar, after our mission. <laughs> Tina. Yeah, she's, uh, she's always here to last call. Did she hook up with anyone? There, there, there was this guy. He was a total dick. He threw his beer bottle on the ground when I cut him off. I, I thought he was going to hit me. Well, did you get him thrown out? N no. No, she calmed him down. He, he was really into her, though. Did she leave with him? I tried to stop her. But he told me to piss off, so. OK, can you describe him? Look, look, I don't want to get involved. Cecilia. You were the last person to see Tina alive. That guy might have killed her. Yes, ma'am. You think it's a Channel 10 news anchor? Yeah, I, well, I wrote it down, and we'll check into it. Thank you. Three hours, 230 tips later. Half of them think it's a local news anchor. Wow, well, at least we know where he was on the night of the murder. Special victims, Benson? Cecilia? Who? The, the guy, the guy from last night, the one with Tina. You're at the bar? I'm closing. No one else is here. <laughs> Cecilia. 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 Sip. Live from here. That's blood. I ran your crime scene image through symbol recognition software and got Venus de Milo. And that's the inspiration for these, which I got off the internet. All of these were created by Robert Morton? He's doing eight life terms in Sing Sing, no parole. Then it's a copycat, someone who's into Morton's artwork. Morton tortured his victims for 12 hours. That means if this guy's serious about copying Morton's work, Cecilia's got eight hours left. The Venus de Milo speaks to me. It's my latest work. Well, somebody's been copying your work. Why don't you tell us who that is? Show me the crime scene photos, and I'll give you my critique. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Don't touch those. Breslau, Klein, and Scobin, they're your attorneys? Read them, and you'll be violating my attorney-client privilege. Fan letters are fair game. But your copycat's been sending you little love notes, hmm? Yeah, we purchased one of his paintings. The value is going to soar now that it's been found in a crime scene. We're huge fans of outsider art. Don't you find it vital, raw? It's sick. Morton never tell you about his killings? Robert didn't kill anyone. The new murder proves it. Ma'am, you've written Morton every week for the past three years and visited him numerous times. He's my fiance. As soon as he's released, we're going to get married. Who else is on this committee? I'm the president, and our vice president is Jasper Grice. Where is she? She's issue number 10. What does that mean, issue number 10? These comic books depict the eight murders that Robert Morton committed. The series doesn't end at eight murders. There are five more. Cover matches Tina Snow's death. That victim died in an elevator shaft, just like Tina. Our murderer is staging crimes to match these covers. Somebody's taken up where Morton left off. Who's a sicko dreaming these up? You have no right. Well, the warrant says we do. On, on what grounds? Tina Snow's crime scene looks exactly like a murder in your comic book. What? 
Thousands of people read my graphic novels. But this one came out of your sick mind. Where were you two nights ago around 2 a.m.? I was working on the next edition with my inker. I take her to the only place that feels right. Where is this? It's Robert's childhood home. She's alive, barely. What happened with the comic book creep? His alibi checked. Liv. So he keeps selling his sick fantasies while Tina's on a slab and Cecilia's scarred for life? Harrison Thomas didn't kill Tina and he didn't attack Cecilia. Find out who did. I live, I got your pizza. I didn't order pizza. It's got your name on it. Well, I'm not hungry. Throw it out. No such thing as bad pizza. It's double pepperoni. It's gonna kill you. Said it was a pipe bomb made out of PVC and black powder. Lightweight but deadly. Yeah, except the dumbass didn't seat the blasting cap just right. Captain of the bomb squad's gonna do a floor by floor. Gonna take at least an hour. That's great. Where are you going? If somebody try to bust my eardrums, I'm gonna bust their ass. You guys okay? We got lucky. You might be luckier than you think. A similar knife blade was used to cut both Tina Snow and Cecilia Strayer. But Cecilia's wounds appear to taper as they move away from the midline. You're saying that the killer pulled away as he cut Cecilia? No. By the angle and depth of these wounds, I say they were self-inflicted. This sketch is signed RM, Robert Morton. They knew each other. Employee ID, Breslau, Klein, and Scobin. Cecilia worked at Robert's law firm. Legal visits and correspondence aren't on inmate logs. That's why we didn't put it together. He told you to get an internship at his law firm. So I could visit him without being monitored. He needed me to help him with his appeals. We had complete privacy, complete privilege. Sounds cozy. Oh, it was. She was a virgin. I plucked her. Robert loves me. But he didn't want to see you anymore. No, he was just having doubts. My soul, the depths I can reach are far beyond your shallow grasp. If we were soulmates, you'd be like me. A killer. I never killed anyone. Well, I know you did. But what I can't figure out is why, Tina. Hmm? What made you pick her? You know, she looks a lot like you. Who are you really trying to hurt, Cecilia? You know what I think? I think that you were trying to hurt yourself when you killed Tina. You were killing yourself. <laughs> Tina was a gift, an artistic offering to me. You think Cecilia killed for you? I can prove it. She took trophies, didn't she? Tina's breasts. I think we have enough evidence to charge Cecilia Strayer with murder. Benson. It's Chester. I've gone over the surveillance video a hundred times. I got something. There's a tattoo on the perp's neck. It's hard to tell, but it looks like a circle. With a line through it? Yeah, you know him? Yeah, that comic book geek. Harrison Thomas. He had a tat like that. Inside! <laughs> Bitch, I told her to leave the door to the Mr. T, I've been stabbed! Ah! Get out! Hang on, Olivia, we're coming. Get, Get all available units to Detective Benson's apartment. You'll never beat Morton. He's smarter than all of you. <laughs> Morton's a genius. You beat the crap out of him. But how many others are out there willing to kill for him? What does he have over him? 